And so then having an excuse to start fresh, you're kind of like, okay, well, new note, new training, like new me, and just like start again. But, I mean, it's yeah. kind of after you, I don't know if either of you take breaks really, where you're just like, I'm not going to climb for a month, but it's no. kind of like that. It's just like a reset. <laughs> no, that's psycho. Who does that? I take breaks. I mean, the reset just worked for you, so. This is Climbing Gold. And then, you know, so I went up there with like literally no expectation. I was like, I just want to do some moves and like get inspired. And then I was like, oh, I just practically freaking sent. I was like, that's that's surprising. But... See, that's my whole new philosophy is just not having any expectations. <laughs> and and yet, I mean, so and trying just... anyway. Yeah, but you just sent 514. I mean, how'd that feel as you were getting close to actually sending? Because obviously you wanted to send at a certain point. And once you start I... to feel like you can, then, you know, how do you avoid those kinds of expectations? And well, I've been doing the strong mind uh, hmm. classes with Hazel. <laughs> Have you and actually? Yeah, she sent me like the whole like performance hacks and all of it. And because I always used to put a lot of pressure on myself and kind of go a little bit dark when things weren't going well for me. And I just, I think becoming a parent and like, I'm, I'm just trying to not I just am so tired of that process. Basically, I'm tired of having a bad attitude. I'm tired of feeling bad about myself. I'm tired of like having that be how I become successful. And so I just decided that I was going to try to enjoy climbing. And if I wasn't enjoying it, then I was going to have to shift something or change something. And so every day I went to the crag, I just decided I was going to have a good attitude and I was going to enjoy climbing. And that's all I was going to focus on. And I've really been trying to just make that my goal instead of trying to send like of course you want to send but I was trying to ship I was almost trying to tr trick my brain into not really wanting to send and just wanting to have a good experience and I think it's been working it seems like it has yeah I mean you're sending and you're climbing harder honestly you're climbing the best I've seen you climb in 10 or 15 years probably I'm like oh man you look so strong yeah you look all snappy like, too yeah, on the wall. yeah. I, feel, I feel good thanks guys <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, what, I, I really noticed at the end of that session we did in the garage the other day where we were campusing a bit and I was like, oh, I think you can campus harder than me. And I was like, that's slightly <laughs> embarrassing because you're like a foot shorter than me. And, 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 and I'm a dude. And I was kind of like, oh, I, I think you're campusing like a boss. I was like, that's that's yeah. pretty proud. Well, I've been focusing on power. I also do lattice training, too. So I think there's been like I, I've just had more structure as well. And that has helped me rest more. It's helped me be more deliberate asking for help once again you're doing the uh, the strong <laughs> mind course and the strong body course and when you combine the yes. two you're actually just quite a high performer you're like what a surprise yeah. <laughs> turns out <laughs> yeah who to who to thunk that when you when you train every aspect you actually do get better yeah oh. i think it's really cool like you took the things that weren't working from let's call it your previous life your life before arrow and you've shifted them to fit parenthood but also like it turns out it's way better for your climbing yeah which yeah, I think is, is really cool yeah I mean that is kind of amazing to, to to use something that could just be a hard experience and instead use it as an opportunity for personal transformation personal growth you're like oh I'm taking this thing that could have been a big blow and a big challenge and instead I'm using it to sort of redefine myself and come come back way better like to fix all the things that I probably should have fixed at some point before but now I have a reason to. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw it as like kind of like a clean slate of, let's see, it's kind of like a challenge and a total transformation. And then kind of let's see what let's it was this exciting, like, let's see what this next phase of life can, can give me and provide me in addition to knowing that it was going to be a really big challenge and like kind of a big expedition. It's funny you say you say clean slate because actually, I mean, we just had a baby and uh, I always have a training note going on my phone where I kind of keep track of like what I do on different days or like on for little runs, just like kind of notes, you know, about like, did I eat poorly or like, did I just whatever, like random things that I like keep track of day by day. And uh, and they're normally labeled like fall 23, you know, or like winter 23 slash 24, you know, or whatever. And then every once in a while, I'll just like start a new note and kind of like start over. And so I just started over with the 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 baby Alice trainer. It's just like baby Alice 24 is like my new, like basically as soon as we had the baby, I, 
I sort of like lost maybe like a week where I kind of just didn't obviously wasn't keeping track of training stuff at all. I was just surviving. And then it was like, okay, I'm starting a new note, new, you know, it's like turning over a new leaf. You're kind of like, well, this baby provides a new opportunity to kind of like start life again or like start anew. And it was kind of good because I've been, I don't know why, but I've been totally sucking for a couple months. And so my last training note had sort of devolved into sad, you know, like I'm eating poorly. I'm training poorly. I'm not even training because I can't train because I'm too weak to do the training stuff that I think I should be doing. You know, it's all kind of like, I don't know why, but it all kind of spiraled into a negative. I was like, I was just sucking. And so then having an excuse to start fresh, you're kind of like, okay, well, new note, new training, like new me, and just like start again. But, I mean, it's yeah. kind of after you, I don't know if either of you take breaks really, where you're just like, I'm not going to climb for a month. But it's no. kind of like that. It's just like a reset. No, that's psycho. Who does that? I take breaks. I mean, the reset just worked for you. So I know, but it wasn't even that big of a reset. It was like, you know, four days of the having a baby wasn't that big of a reset. Well, no, no, it's a big reset life wise, but climbing wise, <laughs> I think if somebody just looked at the amount of climbing I was doing, they wouldn't totally notice. I mean, the stomach yeah. bug was a couple day hit. And but I don't know, you know, but for, I think from an outside, you'd still be like, oh, it's just climbing all the time. Mm -hmm.